Today is an exciting day, you guys. It is one that we here at Emmy Performance have been waiting for for quite some time. Today, and I'm sure you've guessed it by the title of this video already, but today is the day we finally get to start talking about the 11th Gen Civic Si. And what better way for us to start unboxing and talking about a whole new platform than an entirely new series for our channel. Today, we're gonna start Map Unboxed, and we're starting it with a product from our friends over at PRL. You guessed it. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the PRL high volume intake for the 2022 11th Gen Civic. So in today's video, we're gonna get this thing out and show you exactly what it is that comes with the box. We're gonna show you how it all actually assembles together and we're gonna give you a review of really our opinion on the quality of materials um, and just how it feels from a third party perspective so that hopefully you guys know a little bit more about what you're getting into when you go and buy a new intake for your 11th Gen SI. As you guys can probably see from my top down camera angle, this one came already a little opened up. Uh, I think that was just a mishap by one of our guys here, uh, but it is still technically sealed. You can see that it's not quite open. So this is a brand new fresh box from PRL that I have not yet put my hands on. And today we're gonna to be giving these bad boys the black glove treatment. Let's get them on. Let's get into it. That was extremely unnecessary. But as you can see, we've got some nice packing material on top here to keep this intake showing up safe. This is a maze actually. Uh, here is our silicone coupler. It is stepped for airflow. Set that to the side. This must be the all new mass airflow sensor. We'll cover that in a minute. Here we have the main star of the show. The actual air box inside of it is also our PRL four inch intake along with some of the uh, clamps, stickers, and otherwise necessary equipment. Here we have the actual inlet piece. This is what's gonna attach to your front bumper area. And last but not least, you get this really nice PRL license plate frame. Uh, we'll maybe give this away or do something fun with that. More swag more swag, and this really stellar air box. All right, so we've got all the PRL parts out on the table now. Let's go ahead and start dissecting some of the major pieces that you guys are gonna care about, and also highlight some of the differences between the old 10th gen Cobra intake and the new intake that we're seeing today. So first and foremost is gonna be the plastic roto-molded air box. Now this one is really nice. What they actually did with this air box was increase the overall air capacity that's able to fit in here, thus giving you more air to pull from, which should keep the ambient air temperatures inside the air box more consistent through your pulls. So even as it would generate what would be considered heat soak, your air should stay nice and cool or cooler for longer as you make that horsepower. So now the other thing that you're gonna to wanna to take note of that I haven't been able to see great information of yet on the internet is this section right here. Now, this is a new mass airflow housing design that they've used and they have actually reconstructed the mass airflow housing previously constructed out of billet aluminum into being an injection molded piece that's actually able to simply be installed using three screws that would go here as such. So install should be very easy. Assembly of the intake should be very easy to the math housing with then just three bolts securing it, one, two, three, to the actual air box itself. Now, interestingly enough, with the mass airflow housing, there is also a piece of tubing actually installed here. I'm sure that's for some kind of structural rigidity of sorts, uh, but it's actually pretty neat and interesting to see the combination of materials and velocity stacks being built into the actual mass airflow housing itself. Very neat. The next piece that we'll look at is the section that, like I said, attaches to your front bumper and then later on actually attaches here to the air box. This part is actually very neat. This is the inlet piece that we're referring to here specifically. The nice thing about this is that they've done away with some of the factory ribbing, which should smoothen out the actual airflow path 
uh, leading into the air box itself. Additionally, they've also been able to increase the inlet opening sizing here by about 23%, thus again, allowing for more air into the air box itself. If you haven't noticed the main focus here with this product was increasing the smoothness of the airflow and also the airflow velocity that this intake is able to house in the box itself. So great stuff there. Very neat, very interesting. Lastly, the piece that we haven't gone too much in depth to cover would actually be the silicone hose that's gonna feed into your turbo inlet pipe from the mass airflow. Uh, housing itself, again, this is just going to be a stepped coupler that's going to connect in here, and then a stepped coupler receiving it from the other side, which is gonna hopefully allow for a smooth air transition as it goes from mass airflow housing, to silicone coupler to turbo inlet pipe. So again, smoothness of airflow, more airflow is sort of the name of the game here when it comes to this intake. The last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about in regards to this actual airbox design is one that I think I've noticed PRL getting quite a few questions about. One is essentially, why is this not the Cobra intake style design that we're familiar with seeing from the 10th Gen SI? And as you might notice, there is a provision on the bottom here with an actual hole already drilled in it for you. Uh, upon my initial inspection of parts online, what I had assumed this hole was for was to let any sort of potential water drain out of the bottom. And while that may be a useful thing that it can do, that isn't actually why PRL designed it. PRL designed this to be able to be actually drilled into with a hole saw to which they now have the high volume intake plus air duct design that's a secondary product to hit the market to where you can drill this out, insert an additional air duct, which then is actually going to force air in from behind the driver's side fog light. So a really cool way to add additional airflow to this already awesome design. And now the last thing here that most of you are gonna care about that I haven't even mentioned, and it's potentially the biggest flex when it comes to this PRL intake, is that there's actually no tuning required to run the intake on your car. And PRL has seen an uplift of about 10 horsepower on their dyno with their car in a similar ECU calibration. Very cool to see that even without a tune, they were able to see some performance gains with the intake. Obviously to take advantage of the full potential performance gains from an intake and optimization, you're gonna obviously wanna get a tune. Also, this intake has already been on the market for some time and I know quite a few of you guys have already actually purchased and installed this on your car. I know there's quite a few of them out in the wild as it is. And actually we have an 11th gen SI in the shop today who already happens to have this exact same intake installed on the car. Now we were actually able to ask the owner of this vehicle a couple questions about the intake itself to get his opinion. Happy to report the feedback is nothing but positive, super straightforward install as you would expect on any sort of intake. Well, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up. We were able to give the PRL high volume intake for an 11th gen Civic SI, our all new signature black glove treatment. You guys will have to let us know what you think of the new map unboxed content style. If there's other products you guys wanna see us review or unbox on our channel, feel free to let us know about those products down in the comments below. We're definitely looking for anything VBWRX related to bring to you guys or 11th gen Honda Civic content as well. So let us know down below what you guys want to see. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, peace.